Some of you may remember a couple of weeks ago, I watched a really, really cool video by a content creator by the name of Zoe B. Does anybody remember that one? It was the it was the white trash foods, um, the white trash foods video. Does anybody remember that? It was really good. And for those of you who don't know, this right here is Zoe B's channel. I am a very big fan of Zoe B. Zoe B has been exploding over the last couple of months. Okay, here you go. Consider subscribing to Zoe B's channel, okay? Because Zoe B is actually super, super, super cool. And her videos are really great. And they're these, like, edu she's a teacher. And she talks about all kinds of complex educational issues that in a super, super interesting format. Yeah, her poetry video is really good. I've watched a lot of her videos, as you can see. I really like Zoe B. And look at that. Massive subscriber count. This is what I want. I want this many subscribers. We'll get there. We'll get there, everybody. We'll get there. But Zoe B tweeted this tweet today. Like, holy shit. What is even the point of creating things if you're sent death threats for doing so? How does anyone do this? put as her banner a comment that says, I don't like anything about you at all or your content. Sometimes I think people really misunderstand how trauma works. And down here, we have this absolute gem. Where is your husband? He doesn't beat you enough, Missy. To any of y'all who want to become content creators, not reading YouTube comments is self-care. And that is true. I agree. I agree wholeheartedly with that. Now, I reached out to Zoe B because I really like Zoe B. And I wanted to, I want, I offered an opportunity to talk about whatever in private or in public. Maybe we'll take, maybe Zoe will take it up. That would be super, super cool. But even if she doesn't, I want to talk about this topic. Hey, no problem, meme. I didn't destroy him. We just had a nice conversation. Now, there's a couple of things I want to say first, because there's a lot I have to say about this. Um, Hey, thank you, Le Marquis. Add that to the list. Boop, 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 boop. Thank you so much, Le Marquis. Um, I want to just, I want to, I want to explain a couple of things. So, first off, most people oh thank you for the bits deeply appreciate the bits thank you so much for the 100 bits let me add that onto here we'll put that in here boop um being a fat femme creator has been very fun i know what you're feeling vermin yeah i know what you're feeling okay so how do i start this okay Oh, content. Well, yeah, we'll do a content warning. Yeah, let's talk about a content warning. This is going to be content warning. Somebody do the content warning command. Content warning for uh, uh, verbal abuse and everything like that, okay? Okay? There's a lot of hate on the internet. And for a lot of people... When they, uh, when they hear about getting hate on the internet, they go, ha ha, like, you should just ignore it. They're nobody. And I, I am somebody, for the record, who has a very thick skin. I am very hard to offend. And people who know me will tell you I don't hold grudges. I mean, I just made a, a shout out to the Scrub King. You know? Thank you, Artificial Feathers, for the $5 super chat. Appreciate that. I don't hold grudges, okay? Like, almost ever. And and so I'm a tough person. But when I became a content creator, and now I'm pulling hundreds of viewers per stream, which is very, very, very excited, exciting, and I'm very happy for that. 
Um, but um, I realized that there is a level of exposure to abuse that most people cannot understand and cannot relate to at all. And how do I describe this? Let me give you an example of what I'm talking about, okay? Um, I'm just going to show you something small that I shared with my mods earlier today that's a little bit funny. Now, to be fair, I will say uh, this, this what I'm about to show you is a very poggers, um, a, a very, very poggers uh, image at first until you realize what else we're talking about here. Hold on. Let me. There we go. I'm going to show you. It's, it's a super pog thumbnail, but the implication is not super pog. Okay. Vosh and Demon Mama nearly burn bridge in epic debate. And we have this really cool thumbnail. This is a cool ass thumbnail, by the way. I love this thumbnail. Um, and this is, this got 34,000 views. This is from the, the de one of the Destiny clip channels, I think. Vosh's stream and my stream never get this many views. It's from the Bestiny channel. Yeah, the Bestiny one. Yeah. Hey, thank you so much for the tier one subscription. But also, let me show you something else. Actually, I'm not going to show you this one. You're just going to take my word for this one. I don't want to go searching for it. When I when I when my video was reviewed by Destiny, in which Destiny said I was a filthy, a, a, a terrible piece of human shit, in his uh, in his VOD where he reviewed my debate with RGR, hundreds of thousands of people saw that video through his channel. I don't have hundreds of thousands of subs. I have never gotten hundreds of thousands of viewers. And I mean it. I looked at the numbers. A hundred thousand people saw a guy say that I'm a human piece of shit who deserves to be driven off the internet. More people than have ever seen my video. So when I say, and, and, and that leads to an incredible amount of negative attention. More negative attention than all the positive attention in the world that I've ever received could add up to. Now, that doesn't mean it's as important to me because holy shit, do I love the positive comments I've got. And I'm gonna talk about that in a minute. But, let me just read you real quick some of the comments that I've received lately on my channel, okay? I'm going to read these. I'm going right now to my comments page, okay? And I'm going to read you just a couple of ones that I have seen on my channel very, very recently, okay? Let me just get over to the page. Now, there's a lot of nice ones here because re recently I haven't been involved in many debates. Um, so I have been getting some very good ones. And I usually ignore these. Oh yeah, I responded to a couple of these. Hold on, let me let me just find the page here. It's it's very hard. YouTube does not make it easy to sort through. Um, here's one. Your arguments are so deranged. I'm amazed that you had the gall to post this. There's one of them. That's a, that's a simple one. But I want to give you the real bad ones. Let me give you the real bad ones. Because there's a lot of real bad ones. 
And oh, of course, these are not the ones that, um, by the way, these are not the ones that get auto filtered. Some of them get auto filtered by YouTube because it's just stuff like people spamming um, horrible words at me and all kinds of shit like that. God, I've actually gotten a lot of comments today. So now I've got to roll back. Somebody, well, this one's funny. Somebody just comes in saying, I'm transphobic. Okay, thanks, dude. Thank you. Here we go. We got somebody saying that I'm a guy. We got a lot of those. I got a lot of those. I don't need to read all of those. But there's a whole lot of those. And if I was to go to my other videos here, sorry, sorting through YouTube comments are like fucking terrible. Actually here, how do I do, how do I sort by just a video? Can you sort by just a video? I know which videos tend to be spicy and which ones don't. Some of the, t well, this one's easy. This is just a critique, but. We got a lot of kind of dis disappointed in you. We got blobby positivity. That one was put on me. There we go. That one was recent. I don't know how to sort these. Sorry, I'm boomering out really hard right now. I'm seriously boomering out right now. Because I don't know how to sort by video, and so I'm just getting the ones from the recent video. Oh no, guys. An angry troon. Watch out. There's another one. We get a lot of those. We get a lot of those. I've never seen so much bad faith in my entire life. This is horrendous. Demon Mama has to engage in mental gymnastics to even have these takes. Somebody who's come in here with the name Nilly Sigger. These two guys crack me up, referring to me and Vosh. So yeah, you get the idea. If I can sort if I can figure out how to sort by video. Oh, I think I can. Hold on. I can go in and sort by video and I can show you the stuff that I get from the other one. Here we go. Can I can I do this? How do I sort by just video? Wait, edit, analytics. Here we go. Comments. Ah, here we go. Thank you. Demon Mama's behavior throughout this debate has her question question being the physical manifestation of every SJW anti-SJW caricature of leftists. Trans trender. Has anyone ever finished a sentence debating her? God, you're awful. Aren't you embarrassed on your performance? If only the dude with the long hair would shut up. That's referring to me. I've never seen such a delusional person in my entire life. Destiny got bansheed in this debate. Nice. I expected these comments to be a bunch of demon mama simps pretending that she was good faith or in good form. It's refreshing to see that it's actually just a lot of commenters starting up a hate campaign on her by criticizing her. Laughing emoji. 
Well, that one wasn't that one right there, Lonnie, wasn't from the Vosh video. For so a two and a half hour video of Demon Mama triggered and shrieking for calling someone mentally ill. People saying ratio, ratio, ratio because this video got downvoted hardcore. Demon Mama, would you ever just shut up? Demon Mama is so unlikable that she makes Destiny look like a choir boy. You have problems. Go get help. This demon man is a weird fella. Now I know why Destiny hates you. You're annoying as fuck, and I promise you, it has nothing to do with you being trans. It's everything to do with your shitty personality. Okay, whatever. Fair enough. You should be ashamed. I never knew how much you sucked. Demon Mama acts insane. Destiny, wow, you're insane. Demon Mama, you went right into my trap. The amount of panels where Demon Mama has made her allies' arguments weaker. What a detriment to the left. This this debate says you can't pr criticize trans people about anything. Demon Mama is just a shitty Vosh. A woman is an adult human female. Typical lefty, you're the reason why trans people have the reputation that they have. Just letting you know. Oh my god. Is Demon Mama a parent? Do they have kids? The implication is that that would be very bad. That's a little weird, champ. Yeah, I think we've had enough. Yeah, I think we've had enough. I just figured it would be interesting for me to just sort of live review some of these. I know. Give me a second here. I'll stop now. Okay? The reason why I stop in and read some of these is because I want people to realize that there is an incredible, incre oh yeah, I'm perfectly fine. I'm fine at this point. These are, many of these comments came in a long time ago. And I've gotten way worse than this, by the way. There's one that I have, there's one that I have saved because it was so bad. Which was which was the one that that poll people were were uh, were sharing all over the place, and the reason why I want to talk about this is not because I think that like I get uniquely mistreated. In fact, it's the opposite. I know that this is not unique, and the fact that other specifically, especially female and femme presenting content creators talk about this all the time, and they're desperately trying to make people understand how bad it is. Like, I can laugh and I can go, yeah, and I can light up a cigarette and I can go, yeah, I got a big shell. You got to power through this shit. But, but it's ridiculous how much you have to accept as a baseline to get to create content online. A baseline. And that is just so fucked. That is such a fucked standard for us to exist in. And and again, <laughs> stuff like what, what Zoe B said about the your husband should beat you more. That's the baseline. Zoe B does not make argumentative content. Zoe B makes, you know, informative content. We're talking about internet abuse and internet harassment. 
Um, I guess that depends on on your perspective, Les Monica. I would say that Butch is is still femme presenting. It's just you know, it's just Butch. It's yeah. Being a woman who's visible online, yeah, but that's bad. You know what I have to tell people when I talk to other female, you know, femme presenting content creators and especially trans content creators. I've done this numerous times. Numerous times I've done this. I've sat down and said, hey, just so you know, there is a lot, a lot of harassment that's going to come your way. And it hurts, and nothing can make it not hurt, but these people are uh they really they they don't really have much physical power they can't really hurt you physically some of them could i guess there's probably one or two in the entire world out there who would but most of them are impotent they want to do emotional harm and the way that you can avoid that is just by ignoring the comments but isn't that sad isn't that sad that that every femme presenting creator has to step up and say Today, I will either wade through an unfathomable amount of shit, some of which is going to be literal death threats or, or, har or threats of violence, or I'm going to just not respond to any of my comments. Or I have to hire somebody to go through my comments for, for me. You know that that ruins the world for the viewers too, right? Like the good viewers who are out there, they get like... That's why femme content creators do not respond as much. Sorry, I'm going to let my hair down because my uh, this this thing is actually tugging on my hair and making me feel... Uh... Yeah, this hurts. Yeah, this hurts a lot. I know, Gutter Bunny. And I really want women and, and femme presenting people and and non-binary people to um to be able to be creators. I really deeply do. But it feels very bad when I have to give a talk to every content creator that I talk to and go, listen, it can get really hard. Okay? It can get really fucking hard. The talk. Yeah, there is a talk. And by the way, I, I don't even get the worst of it. There are other people who get even worse than me. You know? But there is a talk. And guess what? I've gotten the talk myself. I could name you... I mean, you all have seen what happened with Merrick, right? The amount of harassment Merrick got... It's ridiculous. It is actually ridiculous. Sparkly Void says, I make content about a career that is very cis male dominated. I barely respond to comments anymore because of how much hate is there. The comments make me laugh now because it must be so exhausting for these people to constantly be so triggered. Yeah, I mean, that's how I usually respond now. I just sort of laugh and move on. But that takes a long time to build up that skill. And early on, it discourages it a lot of people don't have the power or the energy or the knowledge to push through that early on and as a result a lot of people just stop being creators and this is why we talk about there being a lack of femme presenting creators it's not because there aren't women who are interested in it or femme presenting people who are interested in it, or trans people or non-binary people whatever you want to say it's not because they don't exist. It's because they get filtered out by the unbelievable amount of hate that makes them say, this isn't worth it. It isn't worth it to grind against the hate. And for me, I'm fucking stubborn. I am, I am very stubborn sometimes, especially when it comes to people being abusive to me. I'm incredibly stubborn. But let's be real. Even in all my stubbornness, you all have even seen times where I have faltered. Because it's so heavy. I wish that... Uh, maybe Prime. Maybe. 
We'll talk about that in the future. And, and I think we really need to talk about this kind of stuff. Oh yeah, look at this, look at this. Wow, I didn't even see this comment. Let me show you this one. Look, this is Zoe B right here. As a teaching lesson, which people are total jerks. Wait, here we go. To any of y'all who want to become content creators, not reading YouTube comments is self-care. Or as a teaching lesson, which people are total jerks and you know how to spot and avoid them. They literally shout it out with all their mean, unjustified comments after all. Smiley face, says, the, says he him. It's unavoidable. To find the good comments, the helpful comments, the critical but useful comments, you first have to wade through the shit. There's no way around it. I just said almost the exact same thing, didn't I? Because the thing is, those comments do exist. They really do. I get, I've get, i gotten so much good feedback, especially, by the way, on my kink at pride video. The kink at pride video, besides the people calling me a pedophile and shit, um, the, um, the kink at pride video has gotten me, like, incredibly, incredibly good feedback. People have been like, wow, this really made me think about this issue, which makes me very happy. But it's true. You have to sift through a lot of shit and there's almost no way to avoid it. One Messy Angel says, I really want to do stuff like you, Demon Mom, but I don't know how to even get in spaces or get our voice heard. How do we change it? Do we still try? I want to try. I just don't know how to approach it. Again, being plural, autistic, MB NBA fab, I guess if you have s people such as us willing to wade through it, how do we start? How can we give ourselves the best chance? That's a big question. I've talked about this a couple of times. That's too big of a question for me to answer here right now. But I'll I'll try to answer that in the future. And yeah. Of course, the positive comments always help. And I would love to respond to every single positive comment that I got. But it does involve having to sift through sometimes literal essays being written about how shit you are. Sometimes they don't even listen to what you're saying. And you all happen to know that I also do streams where I open myself up to voice criticism. You all know I have both of the times that, I, or the three times I've done that, I should say. Not even two times. The three times I've done that, I've posted those videos. Cotton D-Pad, what do you think of making a mutual aid organization that dedicates themselves to moderating comments in content creators' channels so they can get directly to the good and okay comments? That's very hard to do. Implementing that would be very difficult. Nah, Devious, it's fine. I like it when you at me. You're nice. You're cool. So there's just a lot of hate. There's just a lot of hate. And this hate... Honestly, it, we have to find a way to beat this. We have to find a way to get better about this. We have to denormalize this. It, it can't be seen as acceptable to be this way. Yeah, one messy angel. If you want to shoot me an email, I'll try to respond to it. That's fine, nuts. Yeah, one messy angel. Just shoot me an email over at demonmamaonline at gmail. Oh, and by the way, another femme streamer quit today. Just so you know. Somebody we know. Before ever even getting full to the full size. Cherry. Cherry. Cherry uh, quit streaming. Yeah. At least streaming politics. I don't know if she quit entirely. But yeah. I know a lot of people like Cherry. I really like Cherry. Not chair. Cherry. Like C-H-A-E-I. Cherry. It's Cherry. Here you go. Look at this. Oh, it is streaming entirely. Look. I hate this speed, this space. I'm done streaming. Peace. 
And do you all remember when we watched Aristocracy's video about considering can't, uh, quitting streaming? Look, it's inevitable that there's going to be some angry and hateful people. Just like if you're a comedian, you can't control that there's going to be some angry and hateful people out there. But on the internet, there is a hate has been normalized. Okay? Hate has been completely and utterly normalized to a degree that isn't healthy and it's killing us. It's killing your favorite content creators, especially your favorite content creators who happen to belong to already stigmatized groups. When we leave, we leave unsung and it's so fucking tragic. Nobody even cares when we're battered into silence. People do care, Gutter Bunny, but. Yes, I know. Is this the infamous cancel culture? This is more than cancel culture. This is more than cancel culture. This goes beyond... This goes to something more sinister. A desire and a normalcy of just verbally abusing... Um, verbally abusing specifically femme people in public... But even more people in general. And we all know because it's not just femme creators either. Mask creators get it a whole lot. It's hate culture. And we're going to talk more about hate culture. But I think that we have the first and the first step to understanding something is recognizing that it exists. Which is why we're talking about it. Because... If we don't know that it's there, and by the way, this is another thing, by the way, this is a small thing. YouTube comments are deceptive, okay? YouTube comments are deceptive because I get to heart comments that I like, which puts them up to the top. That's really cool. But what it does is it pushes down all kinds of other stuff. It pushes down uh, and hides the things that you're suffering. So people come to YouTube and they see a content creator and they go, oh, wow, look at all the nice things that are being said. And they never see the bad things. And that's good. That's good in general. We think that's good in general. But it also gives the idea that no bad things exist because people don't see them. So they don't know it exists. So we sit here and we suffer. And then when we say, hey, like, this really sucks. This hurts a lot. This is exhausting. This is something I have to devote a lot of creative, a lot of the time that I could otherwise be putting towards creative endeavors. I have to direct this to dealing with harassment and hate or avoiding harassment and hate. And then people don't believe us because they don't see it. So it's a tough problem. But the reason why I talk about this regularly and, and there's a reason why I've talked about, I, I try to talk about when other content creators like Cherry, who is now leaving streaming, I try to bring up this attention. Like Zoe B, who's having second thoughts about being a content creator. And think about this. I want you to think about something. Zoe B is a successful content creator. Zoe B is one of the ones who made it. Zoe's made it to the 40,000 follower. She has four times my followers in, in less than half the amount of time that we've been making content together. She's doing well, but it's so much. It's so goddamn much. So there's two conclusions I want to take away about this, which is one, we need to educate each other. It can't just be me talking about this. Other people have to talk about this. Other people have to encourage each other to not, uh, uh, to, to not participate in this, to call it out when you see it, to tell people to cool the fuck down. But also, we really, I just want to say, the positive support 
actually means the world, okay? So when you, even if you leave little comments that are positive or constructive, they mean the world to a lot of your content creators. They really do. So don't ever give up on that. Even if you think we're not seeing them, we are. We just might not have the energy to respond to every single one. We don't. It's impossible. We can't. But we appreciate it. I know I appreciate it. I know everyone appreciates that stuff. So take the time. You know, most content creators do what they do for free. Most content creators you know and watch every single day, they don't charge you for what they do. They, they might ask for your support, but they don't charge you. So positive content comments, obviously donations are always helpful, but positive comments and likes are free and they help a lot and they help offset some of the shit. And if we build cultures of positive comments, instead of it, instead of us saying, ah, it's YouTube, it's YouTube, it's hell zone, all the bad comments. And I used to do this before I was a content creator too, where I would be like, yeah, it's YouTube. The comments are garbage. And that doesn't mean I was complicit or anything. I just didn't realize how garbage. So...